Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're finally tackling our traction bar. I've got my tire off already. We have to cut our U-bolts off because the last time we tried to do this, my U-bolts started spinning on me and they started twisting. So I reached out to D-Max store and they got me the proper U-bolts that I need. I can't thank them enough for getting them shipped out. They shipped them out in less than a week. It's outstanding how quickly they shipped them out. So we'll waste no time. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this right away. All right, so when you do your traction bars, you wanna make sure you get your axles supported because if you don't support your axles, your axle's gonna drop when you cut those U-bolts off. So if you're not from Wisconsin, you'll be able to take these nuts off. You won't have to cut your U-bolts off. If you are from the Rust Belt, you're gonna have to get that grinder. You're gonna have to cut those bolts off and you're gonna have to get new ones. Now a little tip that I'm not gonna do because I didn't pick any up, but I'm going to do it once I pick some grease up is right here. This is how it's gonna sit on the axle. And for, for us up north, we deal with a lot of rust and we deal with salt and snow and it'll build up in that cavity. So get grease and just pack it full of just grease. If you pack it full of grease, you're not gonna get anything like build up in it. I mean, I'm serious, pack it all the way to the top. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's only gonna prevent your U-bolts right here from really getting nasty, rusty, possibly corroding away. It is grade eight material when you deal with a lot of salt, especially you guys in New York. I know you guys deal with a lot of salt. We use a lot of sand mixture here. So make sure you support your axle, drop that first plate and get the plate back on and just hand tight your nuts. Don't torque them down yet. You wanna just hand tight it. You don't wanna do one side at a time. and come over to the other side, take your tire off, either take your bottom plate out or it's completely cut your ear bolts off depending what situation you guys are dealing with and then reinstall the new plate with your, either your new bolt, U-bolts or your old U-bolt. Put the tires back on, torque those U-bolts to 118 foot pounds. The kryptonite instructions are absolutely perfect for that and then start assembling your traction bars. Now, before you put these in, you gotta make sure there are four holes. There's oval oblong holes, and those go to the rear of the truck. All right, so once you get the truck down, you got those bolts torqued, it is time to assemble the actual traction bar. I'm not gonna film the actual me assembling the traction bars because it's very simple. The directions for this that Kryptonite gives you are outstanding and it's it's really, truly, extremely simple. Any of you guys can do it if you have the right tools. But like I said, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk about exactly why I went with Kryptonite and not HSP, WC Fab, Longhorn Fab, Caltrack, all those other brands. There's so many brands out there. I'll tell you exactly why I went with these specific ones. Let's go ahead and get to the next step. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you how to assemble these because this instruction booklet that Kryptonite gives you is absolutely outstanding. The step-by-step -step is perfect. There's really nothing you can mess up with this instruction booklet. So follow it to a T, do exactly what they say and you'll have no issues. I will show you guys what I did here real quick. So you get these rub these bushings here. It's very simple. All you do is put these in and then with a nice soft blow dead bull hammer, you put this grade eight sleeve in here. And then the next step will be to add the proper greaser, what they tell you which one to install. Apparently I'm gonna show you guys everything. So you've got your greaser installed like this. You got the straight one on the short part and the 90 degree one on the long part facing towards the traction bar. Once you do that, get your drop shackle put together the same way you put this together. Get your bump stop installed here and then you're gonna install your drop shackle. So now once you have it all installed, you wanna make sure this hardware is hand tight. It's a grade eight bolt, the nylon lock nut. I really like that. And then just tighten these grease fittings in here. 
So now you can start getting your traction bars installed on your truck. I'm a one man show. I'm gonna use the Harbor Freight Jack as my camera stand. I'll do the best I can for you guys on this install. I really wanna make it to where you can go ahead, buy this kit and just install it yourself. It's extremely simple. Seriously, do not hesitate to do anything yourself. Don't question yourself. If you don't attempt it, you're never gonna achieve it. Don't be scared to get out of your comfort zone. Let's go ahead and get these installed. What you need to do is you gotta get attached to the rear axle, get the traction bar hanging down, and then you can fit your front bracket. Now this grade eight hardware is absolutely outstanding. It's something Kryptonite never slacks on. If you if you use any of the Kryptonite products, they never ever slack on hardware. This is all happening hardware right now. All right, so you can see the finished product right here. This side was a complete pain in the I've got all the bolts in there. I've got them torqued to the specs that Kryptonite tells me to put, torque them to. I'm gonna drive it 50 miles and I'm gonna re-torque them. The reason why this side was a pain was because it's right by the fuel tank and you have absolutely no room, zero room to get your hands in there. I'm finally glad I got this side done. It was a pain. This side alone probably took me an hour of just messing around with trying to get my hands up in there and getting it done right. But it's done right. I've got everything, everything torqued down. I'm gonna go to the other side. We're gonna do that side. So when you're lining this all up, the bottom of this traction bar, in the instructions, it says that it needs to be touching the bump stop at ride height. So make sure when you fit this, when you dry fit this, before you mark your holes and drill anything, you make sure that your traction bar is right against that bump stop. Not sure if you could saw that, but once you get that touching the bump stop, you got it supported back there. Go ahead, mark your holes and drill your holes. Again, I went from a quarter inch to a three eighths to a half inch bit, and half inch bit is the required size. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and I'm just gonna say it because there's a reason why I got these traction bars and it's because they're full floating traction bars. Now, there's so many different traction bars out there, but the only other company that makes a full floating, and I don't necessarily know if it's actually full floating, is Caltrack. So it's along the lines of what a Caltrack traction bar is. The reason why I went with a full floating is because we're building the truck to start doing truck pulls, probably next year. I gotta get my built transmission, you guys know. I'm still running on that stock. And this is something that needs to be done and I really wanted these Kryptonite traction bars. Now seeing them in the video, seeing them in pictures doesn't do them any justice. 
I really think these are the best looking traction bars you can buy. Now, are they pricey? Of course, extremely pricey. But that being said, just because they're extremely pricey doesn't mean you should stop and just not spend the extra $200 and go with them. I'm very pleased with them. I couldn't be any more happy with them. I know out on the forums, there is a lot, and I mean a lot of opinions on these that are very negative, and I personally don't see why. Kryptonite is the standard, the top of the line parts that you can get. Warranty that unmatched, unlike anybody can do, and they are awesome people to work with. I've been working with them, and I a huge thanks to them, a huge shout out to them for getting these set up the way I wanted them set up. The powder coat color that I wanted them to be powder coated. You know, I, I can't thank them enough for everything they've done. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for these traction bars. Seriously, you guys, the, the other side took me maybe 20 minutes. It, it was quick. They're very simple to install. Besides right there by the fuel tank. Other than that, they're very simple to install. Full bolt-on, full grade eight hardware. You just can't go wrong with them. I'm gonna let you guys know in a few weeks the ride quality of them. I'm not just gonna hop in the truck and give you guys a, oh, they're amazing. I'm not gonna do that for you guys. I wanna give you guys an actual review, opinion-based ride quality with miles behind it. I, I think I'm gonna give it about 500 miles. Once I give it 500 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an honest review of the traction bars and what I truly think. Josh's video will be in the link in the description below. You see exactly what traction bars do for you. If you're running high horsepower, it's something you absolutely have to do. Make sure you guys stay tuned for Wednesday's video. We're doing the first oil change in the paperweight. We're gonna explain to you exactly why we didn't do it as soon as we got it. And there's a reason for that. So let's hope it's a good oil change. Make sure you go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell button so you get those notifications. Have yourselves a great night and we'll see you guys on Wednesday.